Rossall Coastal Defence Scheme is a £53 million contract in Fleetwood for Wireborough Council funded by the Environment Agency. The abrasive nature of the coastal environment at this location has resulted in a design solution utilising rock armour in the lower revetment. A total of 274,000 tonnes of primary rock armour will be required. The rock is graded between 2.5 and 10.5 tonnes. Following testing and validation this is being supplied from 12 quarries around north of England and Wales. The use of UK rock provides the most cost effective solution. This short video shows the works involved to supply and place the rock armour. First the blast. A typical blast will generate approximately 20,000 tonnes of material. The yield of suitable rock armour from each blast is subject to the material, geology and blasting patterns. Typically this is only 3-4%, however where geology is suitable and blasting is set up specifically for rock armour, yields can be improved. This footage has been taken from the Shap Quarry in Cumbria where granite is being extracted. Rock is then sorted and suitable armour stone is selected. Rocks are loaded onto steel bodied articulated wagons, weighed and transported to site. Once deliveries reach site, a carefully coordinated safe system of work has been developed for offloading and sorting the rock. Two-way radios are used to control vehicle movements and avoid the use of banksmen within the plant working area. This controls the risk of people-plant interface. Each rock is offloaded and weighed using an excavator mounted grab. Rock weights are recorded to enable the required grading to be managed and controlled. 3.28 The rocks are placed on the foreshore from where they are moved into graded stockpiles ahead of handling into the works. A total of 50,000 individual rocks will be delivered and offloaded in this way. Vehicle marshals supervise the works on the beach and ensure that workforce and public are excluded from the working area. The rock revetment forms part of the new structure with a total length of 1.8 kilometres.
Excavation and construction of the new revetment is controlled using a GPS system fitted to the excavators. This system enables the excavation to be dug accurately without the need for engineering staff within the excavation. Geotextile is then laid over the formation. Much of these works are carried out using bespoke equipment mounted on the excavators, again reducing the need for operatives within the working area and managing the people-plant interface. Underlayer rock is then placed. These smaller rocks are graded between 300 kilograms and one and a half tons and form the lower element of the structure. Finally, the primary rock armour is placed to the required profile. The machine mounted GPS system is used to control the placement of the rock and to record the final as built profile of the finished revetment structure. Upon completion of the works, the new defences will provide protection to 7,500 residents in the area.